Greetings, my name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and the Ozark Mountain Open 2023 is almost upon us, less than a day away. And really excited for this, and just wanted to give y'all a preview of the prizes, the Admiral Tater prizes um, that I just got finished sorting and putting it together, combining with the um, uh, alt art card prizes that are provided from the store kit, etc. I just want to go over the fantastic prizes that Admiral Tater is providing for us. Before I get into that, just a reminder, if y'all want to watch the top table, I will be streaming that tomorrow and Sunday, both days, on my channel. The uh, the stream uh, setups are already set are already good to go. So we will be uh, starting a little bit before 10 o'clock tomorrow is when I'll start the first stream. Um, dice will be rolling at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And same thing on Sunday for the top eight that we'll be battling out for the final three rounds. All right, so stay tuned in for that. I hope you guys enjoy watching the top table play. But in the meantime, let's go over the prizes. Really awesome prizes that Admiral Tater has provided for us. So everyone who participates will get a set of these shield dials that you see here. It's really cool. Uh, like It's like a speckled clear um acrylic and uh it's got the red zero on there as well as the notches and the new notches that he's been doing makes him easier to turn because sometimes they can stick or get hard to turn on the bases and uh each person that participates will get a set of eight of these basically covering uh two ships or uh, one or a one and a half SSDs, <laughs> but two ships will be the uh, uh, well, a participation prize or one that comes in. Then for top eight, they're going to get one of these command ship markers. So the one at top will be the dual magnets, as you see here in the examples on the screen that go on the ship. Um, that has the Osmo logo, and the other, one was, uh, the other one is what you put on your uh, ship card to indicate that that is your command ship. Then for top four, we've got these really nice squadron markers with the Osmo logo on them. And these are, I, I can't stress how much these things change the game, especially for when you like doing squad play. I've had a set of these with my downsized logo on them for a couple years now, and they make it so much easier to move squads around the board. And this is going to be for top four, going to get a nice selection of these squad tokens be able to use, utilize in their gameplay. So, top four, something to go for. Top two, uh, we'll get one of these um, round and victory token markers with the Osmo logo on them. Uh, these are pretty fantastic. This is the square version of the ones that Tater has put together. And really high quality, the nice white pearl uh, going on these. Yeah, looks really nice. And then for the grand prize, in addition to the world's invite, is going to be one of the new Admiral Tater token trays. Um, I finally got to see one of these in person when it came in, and this thing is pretty fantastic. I'm getting myself one of these. I'm going to get myself one of these for myself. Uh, where you have the, on the sides, you can store all of your tokens of all types, and in the middle is a little storage area where you can put other things like, you know, a round marker, um, the objectives, dice, etc., with a really awesome Ozark Mountain Open logo for the topper. And, with, and again, in that nice white pearl. And once again, fantastic work done by Admiral Tater, Garrett Vance. And a shout out and thank you for Garrett for providing these for the Ozark Mountain Open. Now we have some additional side prizes. So this ruler set right here, this really cool, uh, it's like I'm like an aquamarine pearl or something like that. Um, ruler set is going to be given out to the the best new player. Um, it is going to be kind of nebulous of who I consider who a new player is, but I know most people around here that are new players. I don't think anybody's traveling in that's a new player, but you know, it, I'm, I'm not going to have any hard, fast rules. It's just going to be my judgment call of what constitutes a new player. Um, some of you boys from Texas, you don't count. You know, <laughs> you guys are veteran tournament players. Um, but anyway... Um, we want to encourage new players to come into the game. We have a lot of new players in the area. And a lot of times, like, the top prizes, you know, um, aren't in the realm for new players just because they're st still getting uh, their feet underneath them. 
and this was Garrett's idea, and I really like it. And uh, so, whoever out of the new players, once I you know get that figured out on the day of, you know, I'll announce who I'm gonna who's gonna be in that running once we get everybody signed up. Um, whoever uh, finishes the best out of the new players will earn this ruler set, um, which I think is pretty cool um, to be able to have the opportunity to do so. Um, because we are going to have some new players. We actually have some players that have only maybe played two games of Armada, never mind a tournament, and a few players that have never played in a real tournament before, but it just kind of like some of the, the mini ones we'd be doing throughout the year. So really excited for this opportunity for the new players and want to encourage more new players to come into this game. And then for second day for the casual tournament, the uh, the team's tournament that I'm going to be doing, 300, everyone's going to bring 300 points, build a fleet 300 points and then I'm going to randomly assign everybody to be teams and we're going to do two rounds and the best after two rounds the team will get uh, this well each player will get a um a ruler which is the back side it's like the old school style they used to do um FFG used to do where you have distance on one range on the other side and as well as the distance one marker to help for like close in measurements etc so that'll be the prize for the, the top team for the casual tournament on Sunday for those who don't make the top eight cut. All right, so I just want to give that quick update and preview of the prizes now that we have them, the pictures in hand. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Can't wait think, to get things going. We got a meetup going on tonight. And then tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, dice are rolling. That's when the string will be up. If you're coming, please don't show up at 10. I want to make sure everyone's there by please get there you know between 9 and 9 30 so we can get everybody registered i can go over rules and we get everybody set up and we can get going because we got four rounds on saturday day one so we've got a lot of gameplay to get in and we're going to be sticking to a tight schedule all right well thank you guys for watching i hope we can see you guys on the stream on uh, saturday and sunday and until next time take it easy